Hi everyone, Liam here and welcome to this match preview and prediction for the match between Daniel Medvedev and Felix Ojeel Yassim in the third round of the 2024 Australian Open. Let's get into it. Before we get into the video, as always, if you enjoyed the content on the channel, please like and subscribe. It really helps us grow the tennis section community. Well, we've got a very exciting matchup here. Of course, one that we've seen at the Australian Open before, and it has been very exciting at the Australian Open before when these two have met. Is it going to be the same this year? I am not too sure. Of course, both players are in sort of different times in their careers. Daniel Medvedev is contending for Grand Slams, or at least he hopes to contend for Grand Slams, and he's trying to play his absolute best level of tennis inside the top four in the world at especially on the hard courts, even though he did play quite well on the clay courts in Rome last year. Um, I would say Felix Ojeel-Yassim is sort of in a rebuilding phase of his career. He has dropped down in the rankings. He's trying to get back to that sort of that top to let, top 10 level caliber that he had towards the end of the 2022 season. Will he be able to do that? It's tough to say because it, the caliber of players in that top 10 and just outside of that top 10 is very high at the moment. But he has been playing quite well here in Melbourne, of course. You know, the first match he played was against Dominic Team, and I felt so bad for Team. I was, you know... I like Felix. Felix is a great player, but I was hoping that team would get that win because it'd be a big win for him to get over the line. And he didn't manage to, but Felix played absolutely great to get that win over the line himself. And then in the second round, of course, against Hugo Grenier, Felix showed some great composure, you know, four sets. All the sets that he won were quite dominant. He did lose his composure in one set, lose his concentration a little bit. Also, Grenier was playing some amazing tennis in that set, so he did have to take it in four, but it was also great to see. I think Felix is one of those players who... When he's on fire, he's tough to crack because he's got huge serve and huge plus one. And his backhand sometimes can be very deadly as well if he's very much consistent on the day. Is he going to be able to deal with the backhand of uh, Daniel Medvedev? That's a different story. Medvedev, of course, you know, finalist here in 2022. Uh, and he, he's one of those players who really loves these hardcore conditions here in Melbourne. And, you know, as I said, they have met before here in Melbourne. It was that match in 2022 where Felix was up two sets to love against Medvedev. And Medvedev managed to come back and win it in five. So, you know, they've played each other a lot of times. Medvedev does lead the head-to-head 6-0. and oh, But let's talk about that later. First up, let's also talk about Medvedev's match in the second round against Emil Rusevori. Medvedev started off, you know, started playing, I think, like at quarter past 11 which, you know, the Sunday start at the Australian Open this year hasn't been that fruitful in terms of reducing the time of players on court and the lateness of players being on court. But it is what it is. And Medvedev had to win that match in five sets because quite quickly he went down two sets to love. And unfortunately for him, the only way you can win that one is by winning the next three sets. And he did exactly that. He maintained his composure incredibly well for the third and the fourth set, got those under his belt. And then in the fifth set, you could tell Emil was just all out of energy. I mean, he was seeing the physio, he wasn't playing or reaching the ball as fast as he was doing in the first even three, four sets. And Medvedev had seemed, still seemed to be fresh as, fresh as ever, even though it was like 3.30 in the morning. Uh, so yeah, that was a good win for Medvedev. I think a good testament to his improvements in his mentality and his, you know, his ability to maintain his composure under pressure. You know, he, it's not the first time, as I said, today's come back from two sets to love down at the Australian Open. As I said, against Felix, he did that as well. But it's good to see that he's been able to do that even at 3.30 in the morning. And coming into this one, as I said, the head-to-head is 6-0 and for Daniel Medvedev. Felix, if he was at his absolute peak of his abilities, I could say maybe he could take this to 5. But in these conditions and the fact that Felix just hasn't been playing his absolute best tennis over the last year, you could say... I just don't have the confidence in him to get a win, the win here. Maybe he'll take a set, but I don't think I don't see him taking it to five sets here. I think Medvedev gets himself into round four, and he probably does it in four sets.